What up, gang? Carolina Drop Pop Time coming at you. It is January 9th, 2023. Also means it's Monday evening, and it is college football playoff national championship night. Uh, yeah, 7.30 p.m., about an hour and a half away from the kick of uh, Georgia and TCU uh, going at it for the national championship. I correctly stated last night on our show that thought the game started at 9 p.m. It was a little too late. I'm glad to see that they pushed it back to 7.30 now. Uh, it's a much more reasonable time. I still disagree with the game being played on Monday. I think it should be played on Saturdays. College football is meant to be played on Saturdays, and I think that's when this championship game should have been held was this past Saturday, but that's just me. Okay? I'm, and that's, I'm just a guy with an opinion. Um... Who in the world would have thought TCU would have been in this game uh, a after week one of the season? I, I certainly didn't. Uh, Georgia looked at remit the part. But um, they've had a little bit of a bumpy road on uh, some spots along the way. And then other spots, it's been smooth sailing. Smooth sailing against teams like the Gamecocks, Auburn, Florida, Vanderbilt, um, the list goes on and on. Kind of rough, rough sledding against Mizzou, against um, Kentucky, uh, against uh, who else? Who else? Who else? I don't know. Ohio State last week, one of the best games of all time uh, in the national semifinal. Uh, but I, I wanted to approach this from a little bit of a different angle. You know, a lot of people pull for the underdogs in these type situations, and, and I get that, and I do too. Uh, but tonight, it's going to be solidly go dogs for Carolina Jackpot because it's not just the fact that – well, it, it's not the fact that they play in the SEC. SEC, SEC, you know, I, I don't care about that. The fact is they're on our schedule. Uh, they are one of the rival teams that we play every year. And – to that point, uh, they normally uh, kick our ass up around their shoulder blades every year. So maybe this makes it just look a little bit less bad. I, I'm, I'm just grasping at straws here, but um, I always think teams that beat you, you should kind of pull for them, uh, it makes your loss look a little bit less, uh, less uh, tragic. Uh, unless it's Clemson, and then of course I'm solidly going to be behind whoever they're playing. I, I don't care if it's uh, Osama bin Laden's team. Uh, okay, that's just the way that it is. Uh, you know, looking at this, I I, I got to look at these national championship games. You know, I've, I've watched a lot of them in my lifetime. 48 years old, I've probably watched at least 40 of them. At least, I'd say. Um, my team's never been in one. And at some point, do you have to just kind of kind of sit back, collect your thoughts, and look up into the heavens, take a deep breath, and realize the team, my team is never going to be in one. They're just not. They, they just ain't. It's just not going to happen. Just not in the cards for them. It's nothing to be ashamed of. There's a lot of teams that have never made it. Um, it's a lot out there. They've never made it to a national championship game, and uh, and never will. Uh, this this the, and and it, it, it's not a it's not a lack of talent. It's not a lack of of, of coaching. It's you know we're we're headed in the right direction as far as the coaching of our football program. I think we're headed in the right direction as far as getting talent. We're, we're not going to be able to keep that talent around. Uh, South Carolina is going to become a developmental program uh, for uh, richer programs to come in and pick the carcass of. Just like uh, there, there's a, there's there's going to be some more programs out there like that. Yeah, maybe some of the some of the ACC teams, not named not named Tater and Florida State, um, are, are going to maybe become like that. Uh, you know, maybe some of your Big 12 teams become that way. Uh, but we're just not – we are not in a position to uh, to compete for a national championship. Um, just in terms of getting 
the players that, that, that you need there, uh, getting the pieces in place, it just ain't gonna happen. I, TCU being there is a minor miracle. It, it is a minor miracle. I, nobody thought that team would be there after week one of the season, nobody. Uh, I mean, what, what were the odds? Um, so it's a great story. And I think it's a great story. It's going to come to an end tonight. Got a lot of people out there saying, I'm telling you, I think TCU can beat them. I think TCU is not beating them tonight. They're, they are just not going to. I mean, there is a reason why the spread on the, the spread on this one is bigger, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, than any championship game has been so far. Uh, since I, since you know they started doing this after the 2014 season with the with the playoff uh, games and the playoff championship, I, nobody nobody's had a spread this large. Um, and I I could definitely see Georgia covering tonight. I, I want to. I'm not betting this game, but if I was, I would take Georgia with the points. Um, as it were, I'm scared to do it just because. I know uh, what that TCU is capable of putting some points up on the board, uh, but they're not going to be able to win this game. And everybody's telling me, "Well, you know, this is this Georgia team's not elite." I heard it all this afternoon on the radio. They're not elite. Um, they're not as good as last year's team. Well, I mean, they're undefeated, Jack. I mean, what? I mean, what else do you want from them? They're undefeated. Uh, you know how hard it is to go undefeated. Then I heard um, this clown on uh, Tater Radio uh, running down Georgia's schedule for ne or the, the schedule that they played and, and the schedule that they played playing next year. They're running their schedule down from this past year. Well, I mean, damn. I mean, they played Oregon week one, and that was a highly ranked team at the time. They were top ten, right? They were like number nine in the country when Georgia played them. They demolished them. Um, and then they ran their schedule down for next year. They're laughing at it. Look at this. They play UT Martin. Uh, uh, uh. They play UAB. Uh, uh, uh. They play Ball State. Uh, look at everybody else's schedule. Look at your your look at your friends uh, over in Clemson. Like, he needs to look at their own damn schedule. They open up with Charleston Southern next year. I mean, what do they want Georgia to do? Uh, play the USC Trojans on a neutral site. Uh, uh, play a road game at Penn State. Uh, play the game against Georgia Tech and then play a damn uh, home game against uh, uh, Oklahoma State for their non-conference schedule. I mean, what, what, what the hell do you want? Everybody plays a non-conference schedule like that. Everybody does. Except for some of them, people will do play a Power 5 team in non-conference. Next year, they're not doing it. Normally, they do. I, I, I just don't, I don't get that. I don't get it. It's any way these stupid ACC homers, or they're, they're stupid Clemson homers, not only will run down the Gamecocks, and not only will run down, uh, you know, uh, uh, um, uh, Alabama and Tennessee and all these teams, I also run down, you know, whoever the SEC has that's in the national championship game. Because more often than not, it's someone from the SEC is in the national championship game. And they just got to find a way to them run them down. Look, uh, your program is, is not what it was. Your program is falling apart. Your program was like the 1989 Honda Civic I saw in the Food Line parking lot just a few minutes ago. Sputtering, sputtering. I mean, those people were just were pumping that, pumping that pedal, pumping, pump, 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 pumping it, trying to get enough, trying to get enough damn gas flushing through those lines to keep that damn engine cranking on that damn thing. Just trying, just trying to keep that damn thing crank. It was sputtering, it was sputtering, but it was still going. That's what you are right now. In 2018, you were that Honda Civic back in 1989. Back in 1989, when all four cylinders were firing, when that thing was the hottest thing on the block, when that thing was the object of all the girls' fantasies. <laughs> not, not anymore. Not anymore. You're that ragged out piece of shit now, Clemson. That's exactly what you are. But um, props to you. You've won a national championship. My team's not going to be able to win one, uh, and and it, it's sad to have to face reality at some point. Um, it, it, it's you know kind of like um, facing reality and saying to yourself, "I'm never going to be rich." You know, I, I might as well just uh, just resign myself to the fact that I'm just going to have to work hard all my life 
and make as much money as I can and put it away for my retirement and hopefully I'll be able to retire comfortably. But I'm not gonna be a rich man. It's, it's something like that. It's something like most people have to come to grips with that reality. And the, uh, the reality of uh, not ever being able to win a national championship has finally come not, 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 not knocking on Carolina jackpot's door. So anyway, um, Georgia will win this game tonight, um, and I'm going to take them to cover the spread. I, I don't feel good about taking them to cover the spread. I feel great. I feel very confident about taking them to win the game. I don't feel super confident about taking them to cover the spread, but since I've already put it out there, that's that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Georgia wins. Georgia covers the spread. Uh, go dogs! Uh, and I hope you kick their... Uh, their purple and tie-dyed asses back to Dallas, Fort Worth, or uh, or wherever it is I come from, and uh, they'll probably never be seen or heard from again. Yeah. Anyway, that's what I think about that. I will see you guys later. Appreciate it. Peace. And I'm out. Uh, go Gamecocks. Uh, go Coach Beamer. Uh, go Dogs. And go Kirby. Ah uh, ah. Uh.